Hello, welcome back to the I'll show you a profit video series. Uh, we're doing another deep dive today, but before we do, when we did the last deep dive, I'll put a link to it above. Um, I said that I thought that the modulation wheel was hardwired to LFO1 uh, on the Profit VS, and it is. Uh, here we have the simplest uh, template sound one can imagine. And if I assign the LFO to mix AC between uh, the sawtooth wave or the nasty sound and noise, and then move my modulation wheel. So that's that one established. There's a hardwired connection. I don't know how, I've never noticed it before. I suppose when you're messing with modulation wheels, you've got so many other effects going on. It's just never occurred to me to actually pin it down. But yes, modulation wheel does seem to be hardwired to LFO1. Uh, nothing on the modulation wheel matrix is telling it to do that. Let's get on with today's sound. This is the sound we're looking at today. Unison sound. It's not the most use, usable synth sound, but it's pretty fantastic and really interesting from a, a sound design perspective. So it hopefully should teach us a, a few things. Here's our routing table, and this time we're using all three audio streams: the northern route through the VS filter and VCA the hybrid series route that uses both filters and comes out of the Profit 5 VCA, and then the third route, which comes straight out of the source mixer and goes through just the Profit 5 uh, filters alone. We have a quick run through the other tabs. We're using two wavetables. So it's uh, A and B off the Profit 5, C and D off the VS. Got a little bit of modulation matrix only for the LFOs, but pretty sparse otherwise. Nothing there. Very simple filter, no loop. Very simple amplifier envelope, no loop. So most of the interest is in the modulation matrix. Let's have a look at these two LFOs and figure out what they're doing. Well, they're doing an awful lot. They're shaping the vast majority of the sound. If we note that it's 0.852, I'll take them both away. The raw sound is a pretty straightforward synth sound. The, uh, each LFO is responsible for mixing between two oscillators. So LFO1 is responsible for mixing between B and D. And LFO2 takes over the other one, A, which is very soft. So because those two LFOs are operating at different rates, uh, three times the tempo and one sixth of the tempo, so dramatically different rates. Uh, you're getting different cross effects between those two different um, oscillator sounds. While all of that's going on, both LFOs are also tied to the frequency modulation of Profit 5's A and B oscillators. There's the really quick one. And there's the really slow one. We're also using the LFO2, which is the slow one, to modulate the Profit 5's cutoff rate. If we just take the other effect out, so it's a little bit easier to hear, and bring that back. See what that sounds like. Okay, bring all of that back in. Now the poor old frequencies of the Prophet 5's uh, A and B oscillators are having a rough old time because in addition to being modulated by these LFOs up here, we've also got this wheel mod action. So when the wheel mod's um, introduced, then we're going to apply yet more modulation to frequencies A and B. 
and this is very quick indeed uh, with a square wave which is basically a very very fast on off kind of effect not only that we're also wailing on the filter so this is this the cutoff rate over here is going to be like fairly seriously spanned <laughs> Soon as we start introducing the mod wheel, it's, it's quite nasty. It's nice. It's just such good fun but yeah having having discovered that this has got a really sweet spot around the tempo uh, double tempo kind of thing I want to kind of go in and play with that more let's try to isolate just what it's doing by taking these back out again so that we can just concentrate on the uh, on the Pro 5 LFO and try and really kind of hone in on exactly what's going on so it's the filter effect that's like dramatically bringing the sound in and out the frequency modulation just about hear it when it's slow enough. There you go, you're just going through the frequency range now as I pull the modulation wheel back. The amount by which we're modulating the frequency is decreasing as I pull the wheel back. So each jump is to a decreasing level. Now that we've got a better handle on what that's doing, we can reintroduce the other effects and then try to hear the, the compound between those two. Okay. Now I've got more of a context for where these ramps are coming from. And then finally we'll bring the rate back up. You sometimes feel like Sherlock Holmes when you're doing these deconstructs because it's not immediately obvious, you know, there are so many different effects attacking your brain how to unpick them to actually figure out what each of them is doing and if you turn too much off you risk inadvertently losing the thing that's being modulated and you, you, you're lost if for instance I'd inadvertently turned off the southern stream so nothing was going through the profile filter then it wouldn't matter what we were doing up here we're never going to hear that effect just throw the sound away again, get back to our uh, starting point once more. Quick look at the bandpass filter. Uh, best way to do that is to throw all the Profit 5 filter based stuff away. We don't care. That's not what we're listening to at the moment. We want to hear the VS uh, filter in use. It's quite nice. 
Thanks. Googly loveliness. So that's having a hell of an impact on the sound. Um, bear in mind, actually, I turned off one too many controls. I could have left that one on, couldn't I? Because this bandpass filter, after coming out of this, uh, the VS filter, does still colour the sound. So it is actually a part of the, 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 the whole makeup. It's only the single stream down here that doesn't uh, pass through the VS filter. And now we've got access to this down here as well. tie filters together in series because together they make things that each of the individual components can't do so i think we've uh, squeezed the marrow out of this one a uh, fantastic sound not the most usable but that doesn't mean to say it's not still completely fantastic i uh, hope you enjoyed it and if you did please uh, consider subscribing hit notifications and you'll find out when the next episode in this series comes out hope to see you then thanks a lot